going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at Number 3 Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there's something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. What really matters during the ball game? We're at that point in the season where some are just beginning. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. Trust Title and Escrow of Lawrence County to provide exceptional title insurance services. Offering a wide range of title services across Tennessee, our team is unmatched. In fact, we're the most experienced closing team around. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact title and escrow of Lawrence County today.
a moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Luke. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time, and nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability, while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Haviland, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. 
The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. This Saturday for nine hours only at Story Lee Furniture, it's the incredible nine hour sale starting at 12 noon on Saturday. Where for nine hours only, you can save up to 70% off bedrooms, dining rooms, outdoor living, and the largest selection of leather in the Tennessee Valley. And for nine hours only, a factory authorized sales event. Save an additional 20% off on Flex Steel and Hooker Furniture. And all Kingsdown bedding has been reduced. It's the Story Lee's incredible nine hour sale this Saturday only at 12 noon. For the best at home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Being family-owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244 4602. Don't just find a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn $0.05 cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. 
To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf. And this is Hustler Country. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference. With our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tad with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome everybody here to Tom Cruise Field, the site for this late afternoon's at class, TSSAA Class 3A Region 4 District 8 showdown between the Wildcats of Lawrence County and the Tigers of Murfreesboro Central. This is AJ Good here on the X Sports Network. It's going to be bringing you this late afternoon action. Taking a look at the starting lineup, starting first for the Tigers from Murfreesboro Central. 10-3 overall, 3-0 within the district. Their head coach is Jason Patterson. Leading off at third base will be Mitchell Kroons. Batting second in left field, Nathan Stewart. Batting third and pitching, Jake Maddox. Batting fourth, the center fielder, John Cook. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Carter Long. Batting sixth, the first baseman, Will Becker. Batting seventh, the designated hitter, Dawson McCrary. Batting eighth, the right fielder, John Hayes. Rounding out the lineup at second base will be John Roth. For Lawrence County, coming in at 8-6 overall, 0-2 within the district. Their head coach is Clint Wright. Leading off at shortstop is Jack Emerson. Batting second in center field will be Alex Bedford. Batting third and pitching will be Isaiah Bentley. Batting fourth, a designated hitter, will be a Truett Kidd. Batting fifth at first base is T.J. Gobbled. Batting sixth at third base, Cole Schultz. Batting seventh in left field, A.J. Daniel, the freshman. Batting eighth. At catcher will be Cutler Copen. Rounding out the lineup in right field will be Cason Smith. The final game of the two-game series, the two met up in Murfreesboro yesterday. The Tigers coming away with a 15-2-0 win. So Lawrence County here trying to break their five-game losing skid and also looking for their first district win since 2022. Leading off here for the Tigers will be the third baseman in Mitchell Kroontz. Tigers in their black tops, gray pants. Lawrence County, their camo tops, charcoal pants, purple hats. And the first pitch here from Bet, excuse me, from Bentley, and that's in there for strike one. Wildcats looking for some consistency from the pitching rank, something that they've struggled with here in this five-game losing skid. Already Isaiah Bentley with a pair of fastballs that are in there for the first two strikes of the game. Owen to the count here to Croons. And the 0-2. Ground ball down the left field line, but that won't be foul. The count will stay at no balls and two strikes. Bindley's last downing came in relief appearance against Summertown on Saturday, and 
Well, nothing went right for any pitcher in that game, so you can't really hold that against him. Wind was blowing out, actually kind of like it is today. So that one's fouled down the right field line. The Cowboys will stay at no balls and two strikes. Wind is blowing straight out the dead center field, a little bit shaded towards right center. So another game here at Tom Cruise Field, the wind blowing out. A lot like Wrigley Field and some of these other places, wind's blowing out. Better keep the ball down. This one ripped right off of Cole Schultz. Tries to make a play and will hold on to the ball. So Croons makes it on. With a looping line drive. That was going to be a hard play to make anyways. So the leadoff hitter makes it aboard. Now for the left fielder and Nathan Stewart. Next batter, number 12, Nathan Stewart. One on nobody out here in the top of the first. Stewart, another right-hander so far. First left-hander is waiting on deck in the opposing pitcher in Jake Maddox. First pitch, that one is fouled away here for strike one. Stewart, certainly known for his power to left field, mainly a pull hitter for the most part. Can go to the opposite field if need be. Wildcats do have him shaded here towards left. Bentley checks on the runner, not in time. Schultz is playing right on the edge of the grass there at third. Beffer, the center fielder, is shaded off towards the left center. Here's the 0-1. It's a ground ball, and that one's going to get through for a base hit. Croons is going to hold up at second. So the first two aboard here for the Tigers in the top of the first. That's the first hit of the game. So an error and a single, 2-1 here for the opposing pitcher in Jake Maddox. Max, who's the best overall hitter here for the Tigers, most of his power to center and right center field. Wildcats have him shaded that way. Caden Smith at second got a bit fooled off that ball, thought it was more going up the middle before it tailed off to the right. First pitch here from Bentley. This one is fouled away for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball. That one misses a bit high for ball one. And a tad bit outside as well. It's the 1-1 from Bentley. This one is sent down the left field line. Daniel giving chase, but that one's going to drift foul for strike two. One and two the count here to Maddox. 2-1, nobody out here in the top of the first. And the 1-2. Breaking ball, that one misses low and evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. And Phil going back to its normal depth, pretty much all across. And the 2-2. Ground ball. Here to gobble at first. Makes the play. He will step on first, and that will be the first out of the inning. Both runners will advance as we've got one gone here. The top of the first inning. Brings up the designated hitter and John Cook. Cook, right-handed hitter. Most of his hits have come through the left side so far this year. Corner infield going to play with their Toes on the grass. Middle infield playing even with the bag. So almost a infield in situation here for the Wildcats. First pitch from Bentley. And that one misses low for ball one. And the 1 up on the outside corner, a fastball for strike one. Benley has been able to get himself out of a bunch of these situations so far early in the year. I have to do so here if he wants to keep as minimal damage as possible. And the 1-1, breaking ball. That one just misses Hidden Cook and goes to two balls and one strike.
Bentley now fakes the pickoff throw there to Kroon's at third. The 2-1. This one is ripped here to Cole Schultz at third. He's going to throw home, and the throw won't be in time. And everybody's safe, and the Tigers lead this one one to nothing. Great effort there by Cole Schultz at third, but unfortunately comes up with nobody going out, and it's a one to nothing Tiger lead. Brings up Carter Long, the shortstop. Pretty open hitter. Most of his hits have come to the left center field and right center field gap so far this year. That's where the bulk of his power comes. Quick pickoff over at first. Throw is not in time. Runners on the corners. One gone and one nothing. Tiger lead here in the top of the first. Long, another right-handed hitter in this Tiger lineup. Middle infield playing a double play depth. First pitch is fouled back for strike one. Then we get to look at the sign. And he throws back to first again. Checking on Cook. Throws not in time. Bentley now will step off the rubber after a long hold there. Trying to break off the timing there. Cook over at first. Next pitch, that one's bunted straight up in the air. Cole Schultz giving chase, and that one is touched in foul territory. Great effort there by Schultz. Just could not get the ball in the glove, and that makes it an 0-2 count. Second good effort there on the ball. Coach Jason Patterson coming to talk with the home plate umpire just to make a clarification that Schultz touched that in foul territory before it was deflected in the fair territory. And quick explanation, that's all that was needed. Here's the 0-2 to Long. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the second out of the inning. First strikeout for Bentley here as we've got two gone in the top of the first. Brings up the first baseman and Will Becker. Another right-handed hitter in this Tiger lineup. Becker also a very good basketball player for the Tigers this season. Finished as the district runners up to Lawrence County in the boys' basketball season. Also able to host a first-round region game. First pitch here to Becker. Runner takes off. It's in there. Cope, his throw. Good job there by Caden Smith to make a play over at second base. Runner is safe at first. Second, excuse me. First stolen base here for the Tigers in this one. First pitch was in there for strike one. Infield playing normal now. The 0-1. Fastball just misses away for ball one. One one from Bidley. And Becker will foul that one away for strike two. Becker mainly a opposite field hitter. Most of his contact comes straight to center into the or into the right center field gap. And the one two. Swung on and missed for strike three, and that one will end the inning. The Tigers give one here in the top of the first. They lead it one to nothing as we go to the bottom half of the inning. Coming up next on the Exports Network. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. 
No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome back here to Tom Cruise Fields. We go to the bottom of the first tier with Lawrence County trailing Murfreesboro Central in this district showdown, a one 2 nothing. The freshman Jack Emerson to lead things off here for the Wildcats, followed by Alex Bedford and Isaiah Bentley. Jake Maddox, the pitcher on the hill here for the Tigers. First pitch, chopped down the third baseline. Croons, a third baseman, throws over to first. That one is in time, and one pitch, one gone here quickly in the top of the first, bottom of the first inning. Going to bring up Alex Bedford here, the center fielder. He's been on fire as of late here for the Wildcats. Two home runs in his last three games. One to deep right field, the other one to left field here. Again, the wind is blowing out the dead center field. Not as strongly as what we saw against Summertown on Saturday. First pitch here from Maddox. This is high for ball one. Max also a very good basketball player for the Tigers this season. He's pretty much their glue guy. Rebounded, played great defense, makes some big plays as well as Bedford pops this one up high in the air. First baseman Becker makes the catch just behind first base, and that will be the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the first. Now brings up the opposing pitcher and Isaiah Bentley. Finley got out of a jam the previous inning, left two on base, trying to help his own cause here in the bottom of the first. Finley has a pair of grand slams so far this season, including one here on Saturday against Summertown. Maddox asks, asks for a new baseball. The middle of the infield is wide open for anybody as they are playing Bentley more towards the gaps. First pitch here from Maddox. Fastball misses away for ball one. And the 1-0. And Bentley crushes this one to deep left field. This one's got a chance. It is gone. For the third time this season, Isaiah Bentley has left the yard, and we are tied up at one. Bentley sends a charge in the left, and it is one all here in the bottom of the first. True a kid now due up here for the Wildcats, a designated hitter. Hitting for Caden Smith, the second baseman. First pitch here from Maddox. This is high for ball one. The 
1 0. Fastball misses away for ball two. The Tigers' right fielder playing really shallow. Center and left playing normal. Infield playing normal as well. Here's a 2 0. Hit high in the air. Croons a third baseman, camping underneath it. He'll make the catch, and that one will end the inning. And Isaiah Bentley, solo homer to left, has tied it up here at one. As we go to the top of the second, that's coming up next on the Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of... Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Here in the bottom top of the second inning, 1-1 the elite game here between Murfreesboro Central and Lawrence County. Dawson McCrary leading things off here for the Tigers, a designated hitter, 7-0 hitter. Takes a first pitch fastball here for a strike for Isaiah Bentley. The 0-1, swung on a miss for strike two. Bentley in the first inning gave up one run off one hit and a pair of strikeouts. Still sending at 25 pitches. Emerson at short playing in the shallow left field grass pretty deep. Next pitch, that's a fastball, misses low and in for ball one. Smith in second base playing pretty deep as well. Here's a one-two. Hit in the air to center field. Alex Bedford going back on it, still going back on it, makes the catch just shy of the warning track. That will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the second inning. Brings up John Hayes, the right fielder. Hayes, the majority of his contact has come through the left side. Lawrence County got him shaded that way. First pitch here from Bentley. Breaking ball on the inside corner for strike one. Man, that thing had some bend to it. Fooled everybody, including me, on that. The 0-1. Swung on a miss to fastball for strike two. Comes the 0-2. Fastball misses high and away for ball one. Not a bad throwaway pitch, if you will. Let's see if he can get Hayes chasing. And the 1-2. Breaking ball, and that one's going to hit him in the back. So Hayes reaches a board here with the hit by pitch. First free pass issued by Bentley in the game. Brings up the second baseman and John Roth. Roth, the majority of his contact has come through the right side. Is very good bunner as well. Corner infield playing in here. Middle infield, almost a double play depth. First one is poked in the right field. Cason Smith giving charge to it. He's going to make the catch, and that will be the second out of the inning. It's going to bring us to the top of the order here, and that will be Mitchell Crooms, who reached via an error in his first at bat in the top of the first inning, facing off with Bentley here for the second time. Hit a hot shot to the third baseman and Cole Schultz. That was going to be a difficult play to make. 
as Bentley tries a quick pickoff, and it's not in time there with Hayes, right fielder. Not a big crowd here from either side. Basically, with it being a 4 o'clock game, it's going to be hard for most working parents to get here. And that pitch is going to get away from Cope. And Hayes will make his way to second base. So now a runner in scoring position with two gone here in the top of the second. And the 1-0. This is high for ball two. And, the, and he fakes a pickoff here, trying to get Hayes off balance. No one was covering for the Wildcats there. And the 2-0. Hit high in the air, and this one's going to stay on the infield. T.J. Gobble camps underneath, makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Tiger Strand won here in the top of the second. It's a 1-1 game as we go to the bottom half of the inning. Coming up next on the X Sports Network. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend located at 118 West Gaines Street next to the courthouse. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. TJ Gobble to lead things off here for the Wildcats in the bottom of the second inning. Game tied at one here between Lawrence County and Murfreesboro Central. Jake Max throws a first pitch breaking ball in there for strike one. Through eight pitches, gave up one run off one hit in the first inning. That was a solo homer from Isaiah Bentley to left. Next pitch, a fastball here. Misses away for ball one. Evens up the count of one ball and one strike. Gobble and Maddox, very, um, very familiar with each other from their basketball days. Next pitch from Maddox, a breaking ball. Misses low and in for ball two. These two had quite their battles. They are in the paint. Here's a 2-1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. Misses away and the count goes full at three balls and two strikes. TJ has really been able to get that bat hot here as of late for Lawrence County, making good solid contact. Full count offer. And that one is in there for strike three, and that's the first out in the inning. First strike out of the game for Maddox. So we got one gone here on the bottom of the second. Brings up the third baseman and Cole Schultz. He's really been putting together some good at bats here over the last few games. Of course, had a big game here on Saturday against Summertown, going three for four with a pair of doubles and a solo homer. First pitch here from Maddox is swung on a miss for strike one. Here's the 0-1, and it's a ground ball up the middle. Shortstop bobbles it, throw over to first, will not be in time. So Schultz is going to be safe on an air from the shortstop, and we got one on with one out here. 
the bottom of the second inning. Bring up the left fielder and A.J. Daniel. Each side here with an error so far in the game. Daniel, the freshman, getting the start out there in the left, trying to provide some power here. His last at bat was on Saturday, which turned into an RBI double in pitch hit fashion. Decent lead by Schultz over at first. First pitch from Maddox, and Daniel sends this one in the left center field. Center fielder still going back on it. That one's off the wall. Schultz rounding second. He will head in the third. A.J. Daniel, first pitch he sees. He lines it off the left field wall. We got runners on second and third with one out here in the bottom of the second. Got that one off in the jet stream and watched it go. Brings up the catcher here in Cutler Cope who has a chance. Drive in the go-ahead run here for the Wildcats. Center fielder out there and Cook gave a good charge to it, but that one just kept going and kept going. Maddox now will have a conversation here with his catcher and Jacob Howard. Howard being designated hit for in this game. Corner infield playing in here for the Tigers. And the right fielder's been playing very shallow here for Murfreesboro Central for the bulk of the game. Left fielder playing deeper than the center fielder. He's playing about five yards in front of the warning track. First pitch here to Cope. It's a fastball in there for strike one. And the 0-1. Breaking ball just misses high for ball one. Evens up the count of one ball and one strike. Wind continues to blow slightly out the center. The 1-1. One, one. This is high for ball two. Cope has reached base safely several times via walks. He definitely knows how to work a count. And the 2-1. And the dirt for ball three. Hitters count here for Cope. Cason Smith, who's had a great season so far for the Wildcats, waiting on deck out of the nine hole, or the second leadoff, if you will. 3-1 offering. That one is in there for strike two, and the count goes full at three balls and two strikes. Full count offering for Maddox. Tapper back to Maddox. Schultz is going to take off for home. The throw will be in time. And he's out. Runners on the corners now with two gone here in the bottom of the second. Brings up Cason Smith here to right fielder. Smith has done a lot of damage here in this nine-hole spot so far. Caden Short will be the courtesy runner coming in for Cutler Cope. Howard, the catcher now, giving out the first and third signals here for the Tigers. First pitch from Maddox. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Runners on the corners, two gone here in the bottom of the second. Daniel on third, short on first. And the 1-0. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the 1-1. One, one. Fastball in the outside corner. And it's a 1-2 count here. The nine-hole hitter for Lawrence County. And the 1-2. 
sent foul and out of play down the right field line. Maddox now at 27 pitches here through an inning and two-thirds. Not a big lead by Short at first. The one-two. Breaking ball, and that one misses high, and the count evens up at two balls and two strikes with deuces on the board and two outs. And the 2-2. This is high for ball three. And Short will get in there safely in the second base. No challenge there. And the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. And the full count offer. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats strand a pair of runners here in the top of, bottom of the second inning. We go to the top of the third, tied up at one. Coming up next on the Exports Network. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gain Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. This is the X Sports Network. And back at Tom Cruise Field as we go to the top of the third inning. Murfreesboro Central and Lawrence County tied up here at one apiece. Nathan Stewart to lead things off. Single in the right in his first at bat. First pitch is high and in for ball one. Bentley here through two innings so far. One run off one hit. No walks, a pair of strikeouts now through 36 pitches. Pitch 37, breaking ball misses away for ball two. Here's a 2 up. Hit high in the air, and that one's fouled back for strike one. Beautiful evening in Tom Cruise Field. We had the threat of some rain right before the first pitch, but that storm cloud just rolled right over us with no precipitation. Next pitch, that one's fouled back for strike two. Evens up the count here, two balls and two strikes. A lot of rain all across the area yesterday wiped out our entire slate. We got Loretta on the road tonight, taking on Lewis County. And you got Summertown hosting Wayne County later. 2-2, two -two, high and in for ball three. And the full count offering. This one's sent in the air. Caden Smith, the second baseman. Camps underneath it, makes the catch, and that will be the first out of the inning. Brings up Jake Maddox, the opposing pitcher. Maddox, who grounded out the gobble over at first in his first at bat, facing Bentley here for the second time. First pitch from Isaiah. Grounded up the middle, and that's going to get through for a base hit. Second hit of the game here for the Tigers. First for Maddox. Proving why he's Murfreesboro Central's best all-around hitter as he gets the one-out single. 
He'll stay in and run for himself. Brings up John Cook, the center fielder. Hilton to a fielder's choice that brought home the first run of the game. A ground ball to Schultz at third, who made an amazing play, but couldn't make the throw home in time. First pitch from Bentley misses away for ball one. Maddox takes off, and that one's fouled back for strike one. That was a really good jump there by Maddox, and more than likely would have been in there with the stolen base because he got a great jump on that. Bentley now throws over, not in time. Good play there by T.J. Gobble to keep that one from going to the wall. Next pitch, this one's sent in the air. Bedford coming in on it, calls everybody off, and that one's going to fall down. So that ball didn't have enough steam there as the outfield thought it did, and it falls in. So runners on first and second off of the single. Brings up Carter Law on the shortstop. Longer struck out swinging his first at bat in the first. Facing Bentley here for the second time. First pitch from Isaiah. That one's going to get away, and everyone's going to advance a base. Runners on second and third with one gone here in the top of the third. Off the wild pitch. Here's a one-up, squares around the bun. That one's fouled off the net for strike one. Corner infield playing in on the grass for the Wildcats. Middle infield playing even with second base. One-one from Bentley. Ground ball. Here to Smith at second. His throw over to first is in time. Maddox will score. It makes it a 2-1 Murfreesboro Central lead. So two gone will bring up Will Becker, the first baseman. Runner will advance the third on the play. So a runner on third with two gone and a 2-1 Murfreesboro Central lead here on the top of the third. Becker struck out swinging his first at bat in the first inning. First pitch from Bentley. That one is fouled for strike one. Here's the 0-1, breaking ball. That one's on the outside corner for strike two. And the 0-2. Ground ball. It's going to get over Bentley's head. Smith charging in on it. Cannot make the play. The run will score. And the Tigers now lead this one 3-1 off the infield single. It's going to be a tough play there to make for Smith. And that one goes in for that infield single to make it 3-1. Fourth hit of the game for Murfreesboro Central. Bring up Dawson McCreary. Flied out to center in his first at bat in the second inning. First pitch from Bentley. This one is sending the foul territory. T. 
T.J. Gobble makes a catch, and that one will end the inning. Tigers get two here in the top of the third. They lead it 3-1 to one as we go to the bottom half of the inning here on the Exports Network. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tyler McDowell with in-service towing, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well, as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931 201 2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. And welcome back to Tom Cruise Fields. We go to the bottom of the third with Murfreesboro Central leading Lawrence County 3-1. to one. Top of the order due up for the Wildcats. The freshman Jack Emerson lead things off here for the Wildcats, who grounded out the third in his first at bat. First pitch here from Jake Maddox. That's a fastball low and away for ball one. Maddox here through two innings. He's given up a run off a pair of hits, a pair of strikeouts, sitting right now with 31 pitches. Face the top of the order including Isaiah Bentley, who took him deep to left in the first. And the 1-0. This one is fouled back for strike one. Comes a 1-1 from Maddox. This is low for ball two. And the 2-1. This is away for ball three. So a hitter's count here for the freshman. Emerson's done a good job finding his way on base in multiple ways this season. 3-1 delivery. That one's in, on the inside corner for strike two. And the full count delivered on the inside corner for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. Third strikeout of the game. Brings up the center fielder in Alex Bedford. Popped up to the first baseman in Becker in his first at bat in the bottom of the first inning. First pitch from Maddox. Breaking ball misses in for ball one. And the one up. This is high for ball two. And the two up. Tip back and caught foul for strike one. And the two one. Breaking ball misses away for ball three. Hitters count here for Bedford. Maddox working quickly, and the 3-1. This is high for ball four, a one-out walk worked here by Bedford. Picking up where he left off from a year ago, where he was one of the best in the state at drawing walks. Brings up Isaiah Bentley. Took the first pitch he saw from Maddox over the left field wall for his third homer of the season. Does that here, he'll tie the game up at three. One on, one out here in the bottom of the third. First pitch from Maddox. 
That's a breaking ball in the dirt for ball one. Trying to get Bentley the chase there, and he didn't take the bait. Big lead by Bedford at first, and now Maddox will check on him. Throw not in time. Wind blowing out the right center field here. It's been blowing out the dead center a few times. Crowd starting to fill in in both bleachers. Here's a 1-0. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the 1-0. It's going to be a tapper. Croons, the third baseman, makes a nice play, throws over the second. That will be in time for the second out of the inning. A very good play by Mitchell Croons. We got two gone here with one on in the bottom of the third. Going to bring up True Kid, the designated hitter. Popped up to the third baseman in Cruz and his first to bat, then in at the bottom of the first. And Bentley's going to take off. And Howard can't make the scoop and throw. And he will get in there with a stolen base and puts himself in scoring position. Bentley runs for himself 99.9% .9 of the time as a pitcher. A lot of speed. Doesn't give really big leads, but doesn't need them either. Want to know the count here to Kidd. Runner on second. Two gone the bottom of the third. The 1-0. Fastball misses away for ball two. And the 2-0. This is high for ball three. T.J. Gobble waiting on deck here for the Wildcats. Three another count the kid. See if he gets a green light in this situation. As Maddox steps off. Max now at 27 pitches, 24 balls to 23 strikes. And the 3-0. Hit high in the air here in the left. Short stop, everybody. That one's going to fall in. Bentley's going to come. He's going to score. Kid now on his way to second off the throw. Nobody's there. He is safe. And Lawrence County has cut the lead here to 3-2. to two. That ball got up in the air. And you had the third baseman, the center fielder, left fielder, shortstop, second baseman, and everybody converge on it. And that one fell in. So Kidd gets credit for the single in the RBI. Now brings up T.J. Gobble. Kidd on second. Already got one two-out RBI single, trying to make it two. First pitch here from Maddox. In the dirt, and that's going to get through Howard. Kidd on his way to third, and the tying run is now 90 feet away. So Wildcats here battling in the bottom of the third inning. And the one up on the outside corner. Fastball for strike one. And the one one. Fastball misses high and away for ball two. And the 2-1. This is high for ball three. Another hitter's count here on the bottom of the third for Lawrence County. And the 3-1. That one's in there to even up the count full here. Three balls and two strikes. And the full count offering. Hit high in the air. Kroons 
Camps underneath it at third base. He'll make the catch, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats get a run back here on the bottom of the third. They trail Murfreesboro Central 3-2. to two. So we go to the top of the fourth here on the Exports Network. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union, not for profit, for service. Back here at Tom Cruise Field, John Hayes taps one back to Isaiah Bentley, throws over to first in time for the first out of the inning. One gone quickly. Here in the top of the fourth inning, Murfreesboro Central leading this one 3-2. to two. Looks like we're getting some misty rain coming down here on the field. Brings up John Roth, the second baseman, flew out the right in his first at bat. First pitch here from Bentley. That one misses high and in for ball one. A lot of storm clouds rolling through here, but not, not going to be any lightning in these, just some rain. Next pitch, that one misses away for ball two. 2-0 two oh the count here, the nine-hole hitter in Roth. 0 oh for one so far against Bentley. The 2-0. Oh. Swung on and missed the changeup for strike one. Busy day here across Major League Baseball as well. Next pitch misses high and in for ball three. The Red Sox leading the A's in the eighth, one to nothing. Diamondbacks and Yankees tied up a two in the eighth. Next pitch is in there for strike two. Guardians over the Mariners, eight to nothing in the fifth. Padres over the Cardinals, three to one in the fifth as well. Had some final scores. And the full count offering misses for ball four. So a one out walk. Here for Isaiah Bentley, his first of the game. He does have a hit by pitch. Brings up the top of the order of Mitchell Croons. 0 for 2, reach via an error in the first. Popped up to the third baseman, T.J. Gobble, in the second. Some final scores, Rangers over the Rays, 4 to 1. Angels over the Marlins, 10 to 2. And the Twins over the Brewers, 7 to 3. Bentley now checks over Roth in time, and the throw is not in time. It was a quick, good move by Bentley there, but... Roth was able to get a hand there just in time. First pitch from Bentley. Swung on a miss for strike one. Busy week here for Lawrence County. They'll head to Rogers tomorrow for a game at 6.30. Back here against Rogers again on Friday. Bentley steps off, fakes a throw. Wink continues to pick up, blowing out the right center. Next pitch from Bentley. This one is fouled away for strike two to make it 0-2.
Comes the 0-2 from Bentley. That one's fouled away again. They're keeping no balls and two strikes here in the third pitch of the at-bat. Bentley here through three and a third. has given up three runs off four hits, a walk. Hit by pitch, two strikeouts. Now at 62 pitches. Pitch 63. Misses away. And Roth is going to take off, and he's in there off the wild pitch. Runner on second, one gone, and a 1-2 count here to Croons. And the 1-2. Breaking ball, and that one's going to get away from Cope. And Roth will take off for third base. So back-to-back -back wild pitches has now put the fourth run of the game for the Tigers over at third base, now 90 feet away. And the 2-2. This one's hit in the air in the right. Case and Smith going back on it. He's going to make the catch. And Roth will make his way home here off the sacrifice fly. And the Tigers now lead this one 4-2 with two gone here in the top of the fourth. Very good piece of hitting there by Croons ascending into right field. Picks up the RBI to make it 4-2. Brings up Nathan Stewart, the left fielder, one for two. Single in the right in the first and popped up to the second baseman in the third. First pitch, a breaking ball, misses low for ball one. Finley trying to loosen up out there on this windy day. And the 1-0. Ground ball here to Schultz at third. Throws over to first. It is in time, and that one will end the inning. The Tigers get a run back here in the top of the fourth. They lead it 4-2 as we go to the bottom half of the inning. Coming up next on the Exports Network. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. And back here in Tom Cruise Fields, we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Murfreesboro Central leading Lawrence County 4-2-2. 6-7-8 due up here for the Wildcats. Cole Schultz followed by A.J. Daniel and Cutler Cope. Schultz who reached via an air and scored a run in the second inning. Facing off with Maddox here for the second time. First pitch here from Maddox. Swung on a miss for strike one. Maddox here on for his fourth inning of work through three. is given up two pair of runs off a pair of hits, two walks, three strikeouts. Now 55 pitches, pitch 56. A breaking ball misses away for ball one. And the 1-1. One, one. That one misses for ball two. Two and one, the count here to Schultz. Next pitch from Maddox. Swung on a miss for strike two. Be a hard, hard to lay off those high fastballs. 
and the 2-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out in the inning. Fourth strikeout of the game for Maddox. Bring up A.J. Daniel, the left fielder, doubled off the left center field wall in his first at bat on the first pitch he saw. So back-to-back at bats in this ballpark, and he sent one to the wall. First pitch from Maddox. Swung on a miss for strike one on the breaking ball. Daniel just couldn't hold up on that inside slider. Maddox working quickly, the 0-1. That one sent back foul for strike two. I went to the count here, the 7 0 hitter for Lawrence County. And the 0 2. Misses away the fastball for ball one. And the one, two. That one is sent foul, and the count will stay where it is. Second baseman almost playing, blocking the right fielder. Big hole up there of the right side up the middle. It's a one, two. This is high, and the count evens up the two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2. Daniel, first baseman Becker makes the play. He will step on first for the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the fourth. We'll bring up the catcher and Cutler Cope. Cope who hit into a fielder's choice in his first at bat. Eventually was Saul. I believe it was... Cole Schultz that was thrown out at home. First pitcher thrown the cope, and that one's fouled back for strike one. And the 0-1. Cope, a ground ball over here to short. His throw to first. And a very good play by Will Becker over there first, and that one will end the inning. Three up, three down for the Wildcats here in the bottom of the fourth as we go to the top of the fifth with the Tigers leading 4-2. to two. It's next on the X Sports Network. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. is the X-Sports Network. 
And back here at Tom Cruiseville, we go to the top of the fifth. Murfreesboro Central leading Lawrence County 4-2. 3-4-5 due up for the Tigers. Jake Maddox to lead things off against Isaiah Bentley. Takes a first pitch breaking ball. Misses low and away for ball one. Maddox, who's one for two in the game. Ground ball over to Gobble at first in the first. And a single up the middle and a run scored in the third. The 1-0 from Bentley. Fastball in the outside corner for strike one. Bentley, who's through four innings, four runs off four hits, hit by pitch, walked two strikeouts, now sitting at 69 pitches. Pitch 70, a sin in the center field. That Beffer going back on it. Makes the catch in front of the warning track, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the fifth. Brings up John Cook here. One for two. Had a hit into a fielder's choice for an RBI in the first and a single and a run scored in the third. First pitch. That one misses low and in for ball one. His single was hitting the black hole in between second, center, and short and just out of the reach of Alex Bedford. Yeah, Caden Short and True Kim warming up in the Lawrence County bullpen. Here's a 1-0. That one misses low for ball two. Might be Bentley's last inning to see how things go here. Here's a 2-0. This is high and in for ball three. And the 3-0. This is high for ball four, a one-out walk. Bring up Carter Law on the shortstop, 0 for 2. Struck out swinging in the second and drove in a run off a ground out the second and the third. Jason Bentley here for the third time. First pitch. This one is ripped down the left field line, but foul for strike one. Bentley now throws over to first, trying to get Cook, not in time. Bentley here is given three through, free passes, two walks and a hit by pitch. Here's the 0-1. Fastball in there for strike two. Wind now really whipping out towards right center. And the 0-2. Ground ball down the left field line and foul. And the count will stay where it is. Also in Major League Baseball tonight, we'll have the Pirates at the Nationals, Blue Jays at the Astros, and the Giants at the Dodgers. We also have the Rockies at the Cubs. And the rest of your Major League Baseball slate there. The 0-2. This is a looping line drive. Right at Jack Emerson makes the leaping catch. Tries to throw back at first and just pull the gobble off. Would have been tough to get him anyways. That was going to be a very close play. And we got two gone here in the top of the fifth inning. Brings up Will Becker, the first baseman. Struck out swinging in the first. RBI single in the third. Clint Wright, head coach here for Lawrence County, will make his way out to the mound. This kid in short still getting warmed up for Lawrence County. Looks like for the time being, he will keep Bentley in here to face Becker. Becker's was an infield single. That was going to be a tough play for the infield to make. And Bentley will stay in. So like trying to get Kidd and Short a couple extra throws there. Oh, 
First pitch from Bentley to Becker. This is a looping line drive. Smith tracks it down second and can't get the play out. Can't get the ball out in time, so another infield single here for Will Becker. It's two for three in the game. Runners on second and third with two gone here in the top of the fifth. Brings up Dawson McCrary, the designated hitter. 0 for 2. Fly out the center in the second. The pop out the gobble at first and the third. Bentley, pickoff attempt, not in time, trying to get Cook. First pitch from Bentley, hit high in the air. And that one's going to get out of play for strike one. And the 0-1 here from Bentley. Hit in the air in the right. Kaysen Smith going back on it. Has it at the warning track, and that one's going to go off the wall. One run is in. Becker rounding third. The relay will not be in time. McCrary on his way to third, and he will be safe. A two-out, two-run triple by Dawson McCrary makes it 6-2 at Murfreesboro Central. Put a charge into that one, and it just kept going and going. And he turns it into a two-run triple. 6-2 is the lead now. Brings up John Hayes, the right fielder. 6-2 is the lead here on the top of the fifth. First pitch here from Bentley. This one is hit high in the air in the right field. Smith camps underneath and makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Two-run triple by McQuarrie. Makes a 6-2 lead as we go here to the bottom of the fifth. That's coming up next on the X Sports Network. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. Go to the bottom of the fifth here in this district show now with Murfreesboro Central leading Lawrence County 6-2. First pitch here from Jake Maddox to Kaysen Smith, the nine-hole hitter. It's in there for strike one. Smith, who's 0-1 with the strikeout. Max working quickly. Here comes the 0-1. And he went around there on the check swing, and it's an 0-2 count. Maddox here through four innings, two runs off two hits, two walks, four strikeouts, now at 69 pitches. Pitch 70. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. Brings us to the top of the order here with Jack Emerson. Fifth strikeout of the game for Maddox. Emerson 0 for 2, a ground out to third in the first, and struck out looking on an inside fastball in the third. First pitch from Maddox. Bunna tip miss for strike one. Here's the 
Here's the 0-1. Fastball misses away for ball one. Or maybe a changeup that missed away for ball one. one one for Maddox. Misses low for ball two. Here's a 2-1. Lined up the middle. And that one's going to get through for a base hit. Sir Emerson here with the one-out single. Brings up the two-hole hitter and Alex Bedford. Third hit of the game here for the Wildcats. Bedford 0 for 1. Ground ball to the first baseman in the third. And walked in the third. Ground ball to the first baseman in the first and walked in the third. So one on, one out. It's good effort there out there at short by Carter Long. And the ball was just a bit out of his reach. It's pitcher Maddox giving him a chance to get the dirt out of his belt and regain his composure there after taking a long slide. Big lead by Emerson. Max going to check on it at first in time, not in time. First pitch from Maddox. This is high for ball one. And the one up. This is high for ball two. Max threw 76 pitches. He's thrown 40 strikes to 36 balls. Checks on Emerson again. Throw not in time. Emerson lost his helmet in the process. And the two up. This is high for ball three. No action in the Tiger bullpen. Short and Kidd still warming up in the Lawrence County bullpen. Well, actually, Kidd is not. He's in the hole, I guess you could say. Next pitch. Hit high in the air to deep right field. Going back on it. This one's got a chance. And this one is long gone. Get out the tape measure, Alex Bedford's third home run of the season, and the Wildcats have cut the lead here to 6-4. to four. An absolute bomb on a 3-0 pitch by Alex Bedford, and he has cut the lead to two. The right fielder in Hayes took two steps and knew that one is gone. You can almost find that on one of the Cal Ripken fields. That ball was crushed. Brings up Isaiah Bentley. One for two, a solo homer to left in the first, hit to a fielder's choice and scored a run in the third. First pitch from Maddox, a breaking ball on the outside corner for strike one. In the 0-1. Tapper here to short, scoops it up, throw to first. In time for the second out of the inning. A very good play by Long over there at short, and we've got two gone here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up Truett Kitt. One for two in the game. Popped up to the short to the third baseman in the first and hit a bloop RBI single in the third. Home run for Bedford. It's the fifth hit of the game for Lawrence County. This one, looping line drive over the second baseman. Makes a good play. Throws over to first in time, and that one will end the inning. Alex Bedford's third home run of the season has cut the lead to 6-4. to four. So we head to the top of the sixth here on the Exports Network. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. 
For multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CNB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high-quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CNB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. We go to the top of the six here in this district matchup. Murfreesboro Central leading Lawrence County 6-4. 9-1-2 due up for the Tigers. John Roth to lead things off. First pitch sent in the air. Case and Smith and Wright barely moves to make the catch for the first out of the inning. One pitch, one out here in the top of the sixth inning. Brings us to the top of the order. B. Mitchell Croons. 0-2 in the game. Reach via an error and scored a run in the first. Popped up to the first baseman in the second and hit his RBI sacrifice fly to right in the fourth. Facing off with Bentley here for the fourth time. First pitch from Bentley. This is a tapper foul down the left field line for strike one. Bentley through five and a third has given up six runs off six hits, two walks, a hit by pitch, a pair of strikeouts. Now at 84 pitches. The 0-1. Breaking ball, and that one's in there for strike two. And the 0-2. Hit high in the air. Caden Smith, the second baseman, going back on it. Calls everybody off. Now Bedford calls everybody off, makes the catch. That will be the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the top of the sixth. Brings up the 2-0 hitter in the left fielder, Nathan Stewart. One for three in the game, singled in the first. Popped up to Smith at second in the third and grounded out to Cole Schultz at third in the fourth. First pitch by Beffer. That's a breaking ball that misses way away for ball one. Kid and Short still warming up in the Lawrence County bullpen. Here's a 1-0. Just misses away for ball two. And the two up. Misses over his head for ball three. And the three up. This is low for ball four. A two out walk. One on, two gone here on the top of the six. Brings up Jake Maddox, the opposing pitcher. One for three in the game. Rounded out the first in the first. Single score to run up the middle in the third and then flew out the center in the fifth. It was one of the six Tiger hits in the game. First pitch, that one misses low and in for ball one. Checks on the runner over at first. Throws not in time. Bentley going to fake the throw, and he's going to run off. And, oh, they did the, 
the fake throw away. They almost got a guy from Summertown on Saturday and then uh, had Stewart going, and he's having a good laugh over at first base on that one. He's DJ Gobble having a good laugh at first as well. So is Isaiah Bentley. They check on him that time. That's a real throw. Here's a one up on the outside corner. Fastball for strike one. Bentley at 92 pitches, 60 strikes, 32 balls. And the 1-1. One -one. Runner takes off, and that's going to be a line drive through the left side. Stewart's going to take off for third, and Max is going to take off for second, and he is in there safely. Runners on second and third with two gone here in the top of the six off Max's second hit of the game. Stewart was running, and Emerson might have been able to make the play. We got a courtesy runner coming into the game. Brings up John Cook here for the Tigers, who's one for two. Fielder's choice RBI in the first. Singled scored a run in the third, and Walkton scored a run in the fifth. Courtesy running for the Tigers is Joseph Rao. And this pitch hit down the left field line and foul. Oh, and one the count. Might be the last batter that Bentley faces here in this game. Here's the 0-1. That one's in there for strike two. Bentley trying to get out of the jam here. Wildcats do have some momentum after that two-run bomb by Alex Bedford to right. And the 0-2. Breaking ball swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Tiger Strand 2 here in the top of the 6. It's a 6-4 lead as we go to the bottom of the 6. That's coming up next on the X Sports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating. Specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at Number 3 Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. We go to the bottom of the six in this district matchup. Murfreesboro Central leading Lawrence County 6-4. T.J. Gobble to lead things off for the Wildcats. First pitch from Jake Maddox is on at the belt on the outside corner for strike one. Gobble was 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop out. Here's the 1 0. Same spot for strike 2. Gobble going to have to battle back here to find a way to reach base. And the 0 2. Misses away for ball 1.
and the 2-1. Misses in, and the count evens up at two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. Misses away, and the count goes full at three balls and two strikes. Max trying to hit that same spot as the first two strikes and hasn't found it since. It's a full count offering. And Gobble's going to foul that one back. Six pitch of the at bat. Another full count offering. Breaking ball on the outside corner for strike three, and that will be the first out in the inning. Sixth strikeout of the game here for Maddox. Brings up the third baseman and Cole Schultz. 0 for 2, reach via an error in the second and struck out swinging in the fourth. First pitch here from Maddox. That one misses low and away in the dirt for ball one. And the one up. This is high and in for ball two. Here's a two up. This is high for ball three. Schultz ahead in the count here, trying to reach base for the second time in the game. AJ Daniel on deck, who has a double to his name so far in this one. And the 3-0. That one's down the middle for strike one. And the 3-1. And that hits Schultz, and that was going to be ball four anyways. So first hit by pitch by Maddox in this game. Brings up A.J. Daniel. Schultz reaches base for the second time in the game with an error and a walk. A walk. Hit by pitch, it was all going to be the same. Daniel one for two, a double off the wall in left center in the second. And popped up to Becker at first in the fourth. Sun really came out here at um, Tom Cruise Field. First pitch here to Daniel, misses high for ball one. No action in the Tiger bullpen. Maddox here at 94 pitches through five and a third. He's given up four runs off four hits. Two walks, a hit by a pitch, and six strikeouts. Here's a one-up, and that one sent back foul for strike one. And the 1-1. One, one. This is high and in for ball two. Two and one the count here to the seven-hole hitter for Lawrence County. Daniel steps out to get the play from head coach Clint Wright from the dugout. Schultz, decent lead. Extends it a bit over at first. Next pitch from Maddox, and Daniel's going to shoot this one in the right center field. Gets down for a base hit. Schultz, a bobble out there and right. He's going to make his way to third. Daniel trying to get the second, and he does. So the tying run at second base with one out here. And A.J. Daniel reaches base on his second hit and takes advantage of the air. Brings up Cutler Cope here, the catcher. Now the head coach, Jason Patterson, coming out here from Murfreesboro Central. Have a meeting here as Maddox is reaching the 100-pitch mark. He is three pitches away from that. Big situation here for Murfreesboro Central. Schultz reaches via one out hit by a pitch, and then Daniel shoots a single in the right. It was bobbled out there by the right fielder and Hayes. That allows Schultz to go to third. And Daniel, the second base, brings up Cope, who's 0 for 2. Into a fielder's choice that saw Schultz get thrown out. And we do have a pitching change now here for the Tigers. And while that goes down, we'll take a break here on the Exports Network.
For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there is something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. What really matters during the ball game? We're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. This is the X Sports Network. John Hayes is a new pitcher here for Murfreesboro Central. Comes in with runners on second and third. One gone here in the bottom of the sixth and a two-run lead. Maddox just switching places with Hayes as he'll go to center. Actually, Maddox went the first. First pitch, that one misses away here to Cutler Cope for ball one. Looks like you got Maddox at first. Becker went to right. Hayes is now in center. Copo for two, hitting to a fielder's choice, and then grounded out the short in the fourth. Next pitch, misses low and away for ball two. Cope now getting the play from his head coach and Clint Wright. Wind picking up, blowing the, out the right center, the 2 up. That one's in there for strike one. And the 2 1. This is high and away for ball three. Hitters count here for Cope. And they try to throw that one's going to get away. Schultz on his way home. Daniel on his way to third. He will score. So a throw trying to get Daniel at second gets away. Schultz will score, and that makes it a one-run game. Third error of the game for Murfreesboro Central. Now the info will play in with the tying run at third base. Next pitch from Hayes, and that one's in there for strike two to make the count full. Hayson Smith waiting on deck here for the Wildcats, followed by the top of the order. And the full count offering. Cope, grounder up the middle. Shortstop bobbles it. Here comes Daniel. He will score. Cope is out at first, and we are tied here at six apiece. A good effort there by Carter Long to try to make the play, but it wasn't going to be in time at home, and it is six apiece here, the bottom of the sixth inning. So another RBI ground out here for the Wildcats. Brings up Kaysen Smith, 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. So Wildcats have tied this one up in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch here from Hayes. It's a fastball, misses away for ball one. And the one, two. And Smith fouls that one off for strike one. I should say that was the one, oh. Now it's one, one. Wind really whipping out the right center. Here's a one, one. Breaking ball in the dirt for ball two. Here's a 2-1 on the outside corner for strike two.
Two and two, the count here, the nine hole hitter. Next pitch from Hayes. And the dirt for ball three, and the count's full. Another good battle here by Wildcat hitting. And the full count offering. That one misses low for ball four. So a two-out walk here by Kaysen Smith. First walk issued in the game by Cook. He's going to bring up the top of the order in Jack Emerson. One for three, ground out in the first, struck out in the third, and then singled and scored in the fifth. Alex Bedford's two-run homer. One on two gone here in the bottom of the six. A six-all game. First pitch from Hayes. That one's in there for strike one. Not a big lead by Smith at first, the 0-1. And Emerson's going to line this one in the center field, a base hit. Emerson's second hit of the game, and now we got two on with two out here in the bottom of the six. Brings up Alex Bedford. One for two. Ground ball to first in the first. Walked in the third and hit a two-run homer to right in the fifth. A no-doubter as well. Jason Patterson making his way out to the mound again here for Murfreesboro Central. See what Patterson does here. And we're going to have a new pitcher coming to the game. So we'll have another pitching change coming in here for the Tigers. While that goes down, we'll take a break here on the Exports Network. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. Trust Title and Escrow of Lawrence County to provide exceptional title insurance services. Offering a wide range of title services across Tennessee, our team is unmatched. In fact, we're the most experienced closing team around. We get the job done on time, at a fair price, and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with Title and Escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact Title and Escrow of Lawrence County today. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Luke. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time, and nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something, maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. Colin Wynn is into the game. New pitcher, left-hander here for Murfreesboro Central. On with two on, two gone here in the bottom of the six. A face-off with Alex Bedford. Hit a two-run homer to right in his previous at bat. Six all the game here in the bottom of the six. First pitch, Bedford big cut and a miss for strike one. Good move here by Jason Patterson going lefty on lefty. Infield outfield putting... Pretty much playing normal, except for the left fielder just underneath the scoreboard here in left. Wind blowing out the right center. Bedford skies this one in the air. Shortstop going back on it and makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. The Wildcats get two to tie it up at six as we go to the top of the seventh. It's coming up next on the X Sports Network.
LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Back here at Tom Cruise Field, six all in this district matchup as we go to the top of the seventh. Six, seven, eight, due up here for the Tigers. Carter Long to lead things off, takes a first pitch ball from Isaiah Bentley. Long 0 for three, struck out in the first, RBI ground out in the third, and popped up to the shortstop in the fifth. Here's a 1 0 on the outside corner for strike one. Bentley has given up six runs off seven hits, three walks, two hit by pitches, three strikeouts, and that was pitch number 98. Pitch 99 is going to hit him on the side, and the leadoff runner is aboard with a hit by pitch. His third of the game. Brings up Will Becker. Becker, who's two for three with a pair of infield singles, and they try to pick off the runner there first. Ball gets away. Long. Now is going to take off for third. Here's the throw. It will not be in time, so he takes advantage of the air. Now the go-ahead run is now 90 feet away here for the Tigers. Second error of the game here for the Wildcats. So Wecker, Becker, excuse me, has a chance for a second RBI of the game. Infield going to play in for the Wildcats. First pitch. Fouled away for strike one. Here's the 0-1. This one's popped up in the air. Cope going back on it. And that one is just out of his reach. Bentley's and TJ Gobble's reach as well. And you take a look at that. Even if they make the play, no one's covering home. Carter Long might have been able to score. And that's what Clint Wright is just telling Isaiah Bentley there. Someone would have caught that long, probably would have scored with his wheels. Enfield still playing in, 0 and 2 the count, the Becker. Next pitch from Bentley. Ground ball, going to get through for a base hit. So Becker, with his third hit of the game, his second RBI, does it on an 0 2 count. That makes it 7 to 6 Tigers. Good piece of hitting there by Becker for his third hit. Eighth hit of the game for the Tigers, and that's going to be it for Isaiah Bentley. Bentley now at 102 pitches. Gave a great effort here today. 
and he will exit. So we will have a new pitcher in the game. Looks like it's going to be Caden Short. So while he warms it up, we'll take a break here on the X Sports Network. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Avalon, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 460. Team Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. And back here at Tom Cruise Field, a 7-6 Murfreesboro Central League. Caden Smith, skate, uh, Caden Short, the new pitcher here for the Wildcats. First pitch, runner takes off, and he's in there. Becker with a stolen base. First pitch was a strike. And Becker is now in scoring position here with nobody gone. The top of the seventh after Becker had the 0-2 RBI single up the middle. Short replaces Bentley, who gave up seven runs off eight hits, three walks, two hit by pitches, three hit by pitches, excuse me, three strikeouts, 102 pitches. McCreary fouls the next one away for strike two. 0-2 is the count. McCreary one for three in the game and had a Two-run, two-out, triple. A highlight of his at-bat so far in this game. Here's the 0-2. Lined in the left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Befford up with it. Throw to second, and Becker will score. McCreary's second RBI hit of the game. He's got three RBIs in the game, and they now lead it 8-6. to six. Brings up John Hayes. Hayes, who's 0 for 2, hit by a pitch in the second. Tapper back to the pitcher in the fourth and flew out the right in the fifth. Squares around the bunt, gets it down, short. Throws over to first, that one gets away. McCreary on his way to third. And Hayes on his way to second off the air. Third air of the game for Lawrence County. Now runners on second and third, nobody out here in the top of the seventh. Brings up the second baseman and John Roth, 0 for 2. Flew out to right in the second and in the sixth and walked and scored a run in the fourth. Wind blowing briskly out the right center. It's a ground ball here to Shorts at third. Throws over to first in time. Runner will not take off. A very good job there by Cole Schultz to hold the runners. So we got one gone here in the top of the seventh. 
Brings up the top of the order in Mitchell Croons. 0 for 3. Reached via an error in the first score to run. Popped up to the first baseman in the second. Had to sacrifice fly in the fourth. And flew out the center in the sixth. First port pitch here by Short. And that one misses high and in for ball one. And the 1 0. -oh. This one is hit in the left field. Bentley going back on it. That's going to get over his head. Rolls all the way to the wall. McCreary is in. Here comes Hayes. A one out, two run double here by Mitchell Croons. Makes it a 10 to 6 in the top of the seventh. He's got three RBIs here on the evening. Now brings up Nathan Stewart, the left fielder. One for three in the game, single in the first, pop up to second in the third, ground out the third in the fourth, and walked in the sixth. First pitch here from Short, and that's a bunt attempt that's fouled back or off to the side for strike one. Here's the 0-1. This is high and away for ball one. And the 1-1. One -one. This is a tad high for ball two. And the 2-1. Two -one. That one's in there to even up the count of two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. This is high and in for ball three, and the count's full. And the full count offering. Hit high in the air. Caden Smith at second base, camps underneath it, continues to go back, makes the play on his rear end, and that's a second out of the inning. Two gone here in the top of the seventh, brings up Jake Maddox, original starting pitcher. It's two for four in the game, a pair of singles, and a score to run. Jason Short here for the first time, his fifth of bat of the game. And they're going to intentionally walk him. They'll bring up John Cook here. One for three in the game. Fielder's choice RBI in the first. Singled score to run in the third. Walk score to run in the fifth. And struck out swinging in the sixth. Actually, this is Colin Wind. It's the new pitcher in the game. Came in for Cook. So he's getting his first at bat. First pitch here from Short. This is away for ball one. Runners on first and second. Two gone here in the top of the seventh. Tigers put four runs here to break a 6-6 tie. Next pitch from Short. Runner takes off. And Cope can't get the ball out of his glove. And both runners advance. 2-0 the count now. Next pitch, that will be a strike to make it two and one. Here's a two one, swung on a miss for strike two. Wind really whipping out towards right center field. And the two two, sent in the center field and that's gonna get down for a base hit. One run is in. Bedford can't make the play in center. Another run scores. A two-out, two-run single here from Colin Wynn makes it 12-6, to six, Murfreesboro Central. Another two-out base hit. Now 
Brings up Carter Long. First pitch misses in for ball one. Runner takes off the throw from Cope in time, and they got him out at second base. That one will end the inning as Murfreesboro Central gets six runs here in the uh, top of the seventh inning. The Wildcats will try to answer, keep the game alive here in the bottom half. Coming up next on the X Sports Network. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference. With our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tad with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary Care by One Stop Medical at its best. This is the X Sports Network. Back here at Tom Cruise Field. Final chance here for the Wildcats as they trail Murfreesboro Central in this district matchup 12 to 6. 3 4 5 do up for the Wildcats. Isaiah Bentley, one for three in the game. Solo homer in the first, hit into a fielder's choice, scored a run in the third, and grounded out the short in the fifth. Colin Wynn got out of a jam of two on and two out in the bottom of the six. Back on here to finish out the win. Left-hander throws a first pitch in the dirt for ball one. It's a 6-6 game going the top of the seventh where the Tigers got six runs. And the 1-0. That one's in the dirt for ball two. Wayne continues to whip out towards right center. And the 2-0. And Bentley fouls that one into the Murfreesboro Central dugout. No one hurt. That was kind of a looping tapper. Two and one the count here to Bentley. Next pitch from Wind. This one's hit hard in the left field and into the glove of the left fielder. Very nice catch out there for the first out of the inning. Brings up True Kid, the designated hitter. One for three in the game. Popped up to the third baseman in the first, an RBI bloop single in the third, and then grounded out the second, the fifth. First pitch from Wind on the inside corner for strike one. And the 0-1. This is low for ball one. Go, 
Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swung on a miss for strike two. And the one, two. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the seven. TJ Gobble, final chance here for the Wildcats as Wynn picks up his first strikeout. Gobble 0 for 2, 0 for 3, excuse me, with the pair of strikeouts and a pop up. So lefty on lefty, two gone here in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch from Wind. Breaking ball. This is low for ball one. Here's a one up on the outside corner fastball for strike one. And the one one. On the inside corner for strike two. Comes a one-two. Breaking ball swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the game. Murfreesboro Central is going to come away here with a 12-6 win. They improve to 11-3 overall. 4-0 within the district. The Wildcats will drop to 8-7 overall and 0-3 within the district. Next broadcast for Lawrence County will be tomorrow night as they head across the state line, take on Rogers, Alabama in game one. <coughs> game one of their two-game series. Next one will be on Friday night right here from Tom Cruise Field. But for now, this is A.J. Good here on the X Sports Network. Have a great evening.